Okay, welcome to DSRT 734 class, Inferential Statistics in Decision Making. This lectures cover proportions and percentages. So our main objective again is to cover the concept of proportions and percentage. We start with the definition of a proportion. Here we say a proportion measures the fraction of a group that possess some characteristic. So to calculate a proportion, simply count the number in the group that possess the characteristics of interest, then divide the count by the number in the group. So the concept of proportion is more or less like finding a percentage of something, a part of a whole items. So here we have some few variable here, and also we're going to see an example. So let's uppercase X, represent the number that possess the characteristics. Then uppercase N will be the number in the population. So that will be the total population and X will be the frequency or the number of persons or any item that possess the characteristics that we are looking for. Then lowercase N will be if we are using the sample size. So the number in the sample. So in this case, to find the proportion of a population or population proportion, it will be X divided by uppercase N, which is the number that possess the characteristics divided by the total population. Now to find the sample proportion, which is normally the P carat, it will be X again divided by lowercase N, which is the number that possess the characteristics divided by the sample size. So let's see an example here. Suppose your statistics class is composed of 48 students, of which four are left-handed. What proportion of the class is left-handed? So the left-handed is the characteristics that possess. So this means the answer will be four divided by 48. Here we said there are 48 pieces of data in the class. Think of a data as composed of zeros and ones. Any left-handed person will be one and any right-handed person will be zero. So in our data set, there are four ones and 44 zeros. So again, assuming XI, one if it's left-handed, zero if it's right-handed. So this means our total value will be four. So X equal to four. And to find the proportion, as we said earlier, it will be four divided by 48. Again, 48 is the total population of the students. And only four of them possess the characteristics that we are looking at. So the answer again will be 0 0.083. Now, next example, suppose you have been playing football and have kept records on each plate at prayers. According to your records, you have batted 216 times. Of those 216 plate appearances, you have walked 24 times, gotten on a base by feeling error seven times, and also reached base on a hit 64 times. Now let's compute your batting average, which is a proportion. So this means the batting average is the proportion of times you reach base on a hit, excluding the walks and also the errors. So this means the number in a group of at bat, we will consider the following. N equal to the plate appearances, minus walks, minus base by feeding errors. So the answer will be 216, minus the works 24 and then seven. So it's 185 at bats. Now to find the proportion, here we say the proportion of times you got a hit excluding the works and errors. So we exclude the works, which is 24 errors seven. So it will be 64 divided by 185 instead of using the 216. Again, when we look at the question, we will see that 216 is supposed to be the total. So according to 
your record, you have batted 216 times, so that's the total. But of those 216 print appearance, you have 24 times, walk 24 times, and gotten on base by feeding error seven times, and reach base on the hit 64 times. So we are going to compute. So 216 minus, you have walk 24 times minus, and also error minus seven. So that gives us 185. And of course the hit was 64. We are looking for the average pattern. So 64. So here we have again, 64 divided by 185. So that will be the conclusion for these lectures. Now to find the proportion, it's more or less like finding part of a whole something. So in this our example, we have students, for example, the previous example, we have total student in the class, which is 48 students. So that will be our, then four are left-handed. So the characteristics will be four. So four divided by 48 will give us the proportion. Now percentage means after we get proportion, we multiply by 100. So for example, here four divided by 48, give us 0 0.083. And it's the same as 8.3%. So a percent is more or less a proportion. But when you have, you have the answer, you multiply by 100. So again, we saw this example, the print appearance was 216, the works was 24, and the errors was seven. So we subtract 24 and seven from 216. That gives us 185. According to the question, we have 64, it's home run. So 64 divided by 185, that gives us 0 0.346, the value for the proportion. Percentage will be 34.6. Because 0.346 times 100 will give us 34.6 percent. So that will be the conclusion. Again, wish everybody the best.